what's going on everyone uh, today I got the turbo truck in the shop I'm gonna be doing some work on it I gotta change out the passenger side exhaust manifold um, just doing a little experiment see if I get the turbo spool a little quicker on it right now uh, the passenger side manifold is pretty ugly and long uh, we're gonna shorten it up and uh, see if it uh, helps out for those of you don't that don't know this uh, set up here it's a uh, my 93 1500 Chevy truck. Uh, it's started life as a 350 with the throttle body injection. I swapped in a 3100 from a 2002 Malibu. It had under 100,000 kilometers on it, about 80,000 on it when I put it in. It's probably around 100 now. I did have another engine in here when I first put this thing together. Uh, it was another 3100, but it had ported heads and everything. But for some reason, there was a couple issues with it. I'll end up losing compression on one and six. I think I had a problem with the, the heads. Maybe a bad valve job. Um, not too sure. Could have just washed cylinders down. Uh, I did end up uh, replacing it with this uh, engine that's been in here since. It is a front wheel drive engine. Some people will just put the 3100 and 3400 heads on on top end. Uh, this is full engine. All I did to basically put this in here, besides custom mounts and a bunch of other stuff, I used a 3-4 Camaro timing cover and accessory setup. You have to enlarge a couple holes on the timing cover and a few other things, so I'll go over that probably in another video. Um, looking to do a 3400 in this this year, uh, just because I have it and need to make a little more power. One other thing I had to do to put this thing in here was the uh, transmission. I originally started out with an adapter plate and I was finding I was having issues with that. Trying to get the proper converter and everything to work with the, the V8 4L60. I ended up just grabbing a 3-4 Camaro 4L60 uh, and basically bolting it in. It's been good since. It's basically the converter set up right where, where it needs to be for 4,700 pound truck and uh, turbo V6. The only thing that's not stock on this engine besides the turbo here is uh, the plenum which says 3400. Uh, it's ported and polished. It's opened up for the 65 millimeter throttle body that I have on here. Uh, the throttle body is from an LX5 uh, Oldsmobile Intrigue. I believe they were in some of the uh, might have been some of the Auroras as well, the 3.5 liters. Uh, other than that, the turbo is from a 6.5 diesel and it seems to work pretty good. I, I do not have an intercooler on this yet. I do have an intercooler that I'm going to try to squeeze in here, uh, but that's for another video. Alright, so uh, let's get started removing this manifold. I'll show you what I'm going to be swapping in. I have uh, this manifold here, which is originally from a, a 3500 uh, Uplander front manifold. All I've done is I've cut the end off, uh, kind of notched the, the manifold here, and welded a little 90 degree pipe on there. I just trimmed that and made it fit. I'm probably going to have to trim it back down to a little more to get a, a flex in here. And we'll see how it holds up because it is just welded cast but I think this later cast stuff is not quite a hundred percent cast iron anymore so it makes it a little easier to weld to and it probably should hold up all right so we'll, we'll find out all right so uh, first thing I'm gonna do is uh, disconnect the battery because I have to remove the, the alternator get that out of the way uh, to get out the Y pipe down here where I have to cut it and then uh, once that's cut then I can get the rest of the stuff out of the way. This might help uh, some of you guys out here to see what I did with my alternator. Uh, I just made a little spacer bracket to space it up a little bit. Uh, basically there's a nut welded on the back of it and the original bolt goes through the bracket and then the, uh, another bolt goes through the alternator itself and they, that kind of holds them together. Uh, I found with the other alternator I had on here before, I had to grind the case down and the valve cover down quite a bit to, to clear. 
with the 3100 valve cover. So this was just kind of a solution to that. All right, uh, now with the Galtner out of the way, you can uh, kind of get an idea of what I'm working with. Gotta make mate up the new pipe with uh, that one there. Yeah, I finished getting this sucker out of the way here. All right, it's kind of hard to see, but uh, you get a better idea of what I'm dealing with here. Got the big three inch downpipe kind of in my way. Uh, so I just got to get those three bottom ones out. And I'll be good to get that down out of the way. I got some oil leaks I got to fix up on this as well. I think they're all coming from the valve cover up there. Alright, so uh, apparently this manifold just doesn't want to slide out of the little spot here so I'm going to have to trim the old pipe here it was going to be cut that back further anyways but uh, I gotta cut it there for now that'll give me enough room to wiggle it out of there anyways all right so we got the old manifold out of here finally it wasn't fun I had to pull the O2 sensor out of the way as well but uh, you can see how ugly this thing is but one thing is it did work so I can't complain too much it's been on there for three or four years now so hopefully this thing makes it work a little better than uh, all that length there. there's probably a good couple feet of, of piping so I'll be shortening it up quite a bit so I just uh, set the manifold on here uh, I had to trim the pipe back at the Y a little bit more hard to see here but uh, it's pretty tight so I'm gonna have to do some trimming on the manifold see if I can fit a flex in there and a really tight bend to get at that uh, piece that goes in the Y all right, so this is uh, the garbage I came up with. Uh, I'm not too happy with it, but uh, it's going to have to do just to get this damn thing mobile. Stay tuned for the, the header video coming soon. Uh, I'm going to just end up making headers for this thing. But uh, it's pretty ugly. Well, we'll see how it does. See if it makes a difference or makes it worse or what. So. Now I'll just get it installed. I did have to pull all the studs out of the heads once I had this all tacked into place. So now I gotta slide it in there and then I'll weld this end here to the Y pipe. All right, uh, got it all welded up. Uh, it's not the greatest, but it'll do for now. Until I get some headers and a whole new, basically turbo kit made up for this. So, plan is to do headers or build some headers uh, redo the crossover Y pipe go external wastegate maybe possibly change the turbo we'll see uh, so anyways we'll put it back together and fire it up and make sure there's not too many leaks Definitely change the, the 
exhaust note.